episode of Checkpoint. I'm just sitting here relaxing, chillaxing in the awesome couch as I always do, ready to take a look at another map. And you guys are obsessed with Crisis 2. You guys want more Crisis 2, so I am here to deliver to you guys. We're gonna cover the map Wall Street, of course, from Crisis 2, and there's a lot to cover. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's jump straight into the preparation section for this map. We're gonna begin with the feline submachine gun and this weapon is great if you're planning on only sticking to the buildings, okay? If you plan on going outside, if you plan on venturing along other parts of this map, I would suggest the SCAR as I've talked about before, it is the greatest weapon in the game in my opinion, so you can never go wrong with the SCAR. But if you're planning on sticking to the buildings alone, uh, the feline submachine gun might be for you guys. So taking a closer look at the modules for this map, the first one I would like to recommend is Armor and Hands. And of course Armor and Hands being good just because it reduces the drain speed of energy while in Armor Mode. So okay, you're gonna be in Armor Mode a lot in this map since you wanna go into Armor Mode as soon as you spot an enemy and you will spot enemies at like 24-7 on this map. So this will be a really good module for this map. So switching focus to the second module for this map, we have Covert Ops. And of course, if you don't know, Covert Ops reduces the sound of your own footsteps while it increases the enemy footsteps as well as provides protection from the Ceph airstrike bonus. So you can't really go wrong with this module on this map. And taking a look at the third and final module for this map, we have of course Weapon Pro. And as you can see on your monitor right now, you can't go wrong with this module. You can't go wrong. Faster weapon reloading, faster aiming down sights, as well as faster switching between weapons. As you can see right here, we have a couple of buildings surrounding the middle part of the map. And you want to move inside the bank on the lower left corner right there as much as possible. And just FYI, I don't know if this building is called the bank or not. Me and my friends, friends refer to it as a bank, but it doesn't really matter. We just want a quick and a simple name for it basically. But yeah, a lot of people are going to be camping and patrolling in the bank. And uh, if you're using the feline weapon, the feline SMG as I talked about earlier, you want to stick to the bank as much as possible and try to avoid the middle part or the center area of the map. You want to stick to the sides, the bank, the overhead bridge, the southern vantage point, the stairs, and uh, yeah, move back and forth from there. You don't really want to move to the northern vantage point, the Krynet building, and so on and so on. I want to show you a nice shortcut if you want to get up to the second level of the spear or second level of the bank. What you can actually do is jump up one time here, jump up another time, and you're actually on the second floor in, you know, within five seconds. So you can actually get a nice line of sight to a couple of uh, drop pods uh, located uh, around the map. And also have sort of a vantage point where people are coming behind you. If you want to lose them in any way, you can actually jump up here and get a nice, nice turnaround kill on them. Another great line of sight for this spare area is this one. And what you want to do right here is jump up here and this will take some time to master so don't worry if you don't nail it the first time, it's not you know the end of the world. So this works as a great line of sight to a couple of drop pods around the map but also as sort of a great overview and also a great way uh, to, uh, to act as a surprise to your opponents. So now we're gonna switch over and take a look at some drop pod spots for the drop pod that lands inside the bank area. So here we go, here's the drop pod and th this is something you can do while goofing around and having a good time. This won't, you know, work 100% versus good players because they have sort of a built in eye for this, they can spot you right away. But yeah, if we're goofing around having a good time, you can actually jump up onto the drop pod and there's a tree there and if you stealth in, this you can use to confuse your enemies like, okay, I can't cap the drop pod, where is he? There's an enemy on it, I can't cap it, where is he? And you're on the drop pod and you can kill him easily. And this is something, as I said, you can do while goofing around and having a good time. But if you want to defend it really well, there's not really a position inside range, inside the cap and range of the drop pod. But if you have a friend or a couple of friends capping it, you can actually jump up on these lockers and actually have a pretty pretty good defensive position. If you stealth in, you will be pretty pretty undetectable uh, if they're not using nanovision. So in the same area as the drop pod, I'm gonna show you a nice shortcut, or it's not so much of a shortcut rather than a alternate route if you will. 
So if you spot somebody over there, you want to get over there, but you can't really go through there because that person is camping or somewhat, you can actually run on the outside of the building, on the corner right there, and you can run around and actually take out the guy in the back or, you know, wherever he's standing. You're gonna, that's going to be a really big surprise to that guy, and he's not going to see that coming. So a really, really useful and really simple thing to do. Now, let's head over to the last thing I have for you guys as far as the bank area goes, and it is a great line of sight that I use regularly myself. So, to get over there, stand on this construction area, run on the edge on the corner of the wall right there, get over to that position beside the window, and you get a nice line of sight both over to the machine gun on the northern vantage point and to the open area in front of it, but also to the drop pod below you. So, this will be very useful in two different situations. So the absolutely last thing I have for you guys as far as Wall Street goes, it's a nice drop pod position next to the drop pod on the Crynet building. So as you can see right here, you don't have too much to hide behind, but what you can hide behind is this flower bed right here. And if you sit in this position, you will be protected from nades, flashes and whatnot while still capping and bringing in coins to your team. So that is Wall Street for you guys, I hope you enjoyed that, I hope you learned something, I know some of that might seem a bit tricky and uh, it will take time to learn it, don't you worry, you, you will just have to put down time and mastering every bit of it. So yeah guys, uh, keep requesting more maps and more games in the comments below and on my YouTube or Twitter down, boom, down there. Go, go, uh, give me ideas for maps and also for uh, for different types of first person shooters out there. And uh, yeah, we'll try to give you the content that is most requested by you guys, okay? So until next time guys, have an awesome day and stay tuned. Bye! Game Breaker TV.